This is Dispatches from Myrtle Beach with Charles Neal and my son Link from Good Mythical Morning. How you doing, Link? I'm doing pretty good, Dad. Uh, it's always a pick me up to see you. How you doing? Yeah. Well, uh, I got through uh, rolling with that 18 inch roller uh, about three o'clock today, so I'm doing really good for a little while. So, what, what were you painting? The side of a barn? That's a big roller. <laughs> no, just all them big bedrooms in that big house I'm working on. Okay, still working on that yeah. big house. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. Still working on it. Yeah. Taking it easy, but, getting some job security. They don't pay you by the hour, though. No. <laughs> That's why you're using an 18-inch roller, so you can get the hell out of there. <laughs> get, <laughs> yeah, get the well, paint on the wall. Yeah, get it all going. Well, we're going recording on. this yeah. on a Friday, and it's, let's see, it's 2.44, five. It's almost 6 o'clock your time. I'm like, well, we're cutting into, we're cutting into your weekend, you know? That's hey, yeah, the, the show's got to go on whether it's my weekend or not. We gotta get these dispatches out. And are, all these do you have Myrtle Beast? Yeah. Do you have any big plans after this? We uh, well, I ain't told Nancy, but I, we, me and her went and bought some new dancing shoes today. We may go dancing tonight. Oh, you got some fresh ones. You got you got to break them in. Yeah. Or do they, they pretty? They pretty soft when you buy them. They. Well, they pretty much ready to go. Are they special dance. shagging shoes? Yes, they are. How? What makes mm -hmm. them shagging shoes? Because they got slick bottoms on them, so you can. Oh, it's kind of like a bowling shoe. Oh no, no, these has got leather bottoms on them, and where you can move around and do all your steps in them. Do you, yeah. There's a lot of sliding, a lot of shuffling. Yeah, that's right. that All would right. be correct. Yep. Is that why old yeah. people can shag because you don't have to actually lift your feet up any? That's, that's probably a good idea, Link. <laughs> I ain't never thought of that, but yeah, that's, that's <laughs> you know, there's a lot of old people that's doing it. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. you, you just like and, you and know, we're one of them. You see, you're, <laughs> two well, of them. <laughs> I know you're you you you're young and spry compared to some of the people because they're just out there just like shuffling their feet, like shuffle, shuffle, mm. shuffle. No, some of them ain't this shit. Okay. They, they spin they spinning around doing all kind of stuff. So you're going to try to talk Nancy into that. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But I thought, you know, I I got a a surprise guest for us. Mm -hmm. And it is Nancy. Oh. And we're going we're going to bring her in cuz she's uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up and she's got another booth down at St. Patrick's Day and going to be selling jewelry and all that stuff. So we're going to bring Nancy right on in. Okay. This is quite a surprise. And while Nancy comes in, I'll remind you, dear uh, Myrtle, Myrtle Beast, that this show is now every single week again. So no need to, no need to have just a little mini dispatch to try to get you by. Now we're going to give you the real thing every week. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your enemies. Every single week, right, Dad? I'm telling you, and, and don't this thing look a lot better, Myrtle Beast, with my wife sitting in here? We got some, got a good looking woman on this thing now. I'm hey, telling. Nana, you do look great. Hey, hey, how are you? I'm good. I'm I'm glad to see you. I haven't actually seen your face since. I I know that you guys, you know, you've been going through stuff with your mom passing away, and you know, so. I know you know we love you, and we were sending love your way. But it's good to see your smiling face. And uh, how how are you doing? How and how is everybody? We're doing good. Um, have our moments of sadness, but yeah. But we're doing good. Okay. Yeah, she's still going <clears throat> going through some stuff, and when she does that, she has some things that brings back memories and. <clears throat> Just stuff like that. And I come in from working the other day. I don't know why I came home and she was standing in the hallway and she was, I said, what in the world's wrong with you? And she said, well, I've, been, I've just been over here crying. I was going through mama's stuff. And so it was a good time for me to come home, give her a hug. And, and, uh, well, good. That was good timing. 
Yeah. There ain't nothing yeah. wrong with crying. I mean, that's a good thing cause it's like to have somebody you love so much that you, you know, you can let it out, right? That's yeah. correct. So, so dad swooped in. He gave you some love. That's good. He did. I'll give you a virtual hug. How's that? <laughs> That's right. And thank you so much for the beautiful flowers and the sherry berries. Oh, that not a sponsor, beautiful. but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They should be a sponsor. We sent you some sherry's yeah, berries. To, yeah. <laughs> they, they lasted every bit of about eight minutes. <laughs> but Link, let, let me tell you a little, little story. Nancy, right after her mama passed away and we got back home or sometime or another, she had to call the insurance people where they were taking money and stuff out of said so would wouldn't keep taking out of that out of her account and stuff. Mm-hmm. It was an insurance so you, for her eyes and her teeth. Yes, yeah, so you you can tell him now she she talked to this lady and then what happened, honey? She hung up. She hung up and about an hour later she called me back and she said, um, I'm I'm real I'm real curious," she said. Um, after investigating your mom's account and then your name, she said I did some investigating, and she said your last name is Neil. Would you happen to be any kin to Link Neil? And I said, "He's my stepson." And she said, "And Charles is your husband?" And I said, "Yes, he is." And so it was a. It was so neat. This lady was so sweet. She took care of mama's business and took care of everything for me that I didn't have to go through a whole bunch of people. And Oh, great. It was real sweet. And so she's been texting me to see how I've been doing and oh, asking how Charles is. Uh-huh. And she's coming um, sometime this summer to Myrtle Beach, and she's going to look us up you, and um, say hey. You know, Okay. Did you give her my but number? She, but she no. No. okay, good. But she uh, she does she watches Dispatch from Myrtle Beach <laughs> and and your show, so that's okay. why. Yes. She kept looking. She said, "Well, we, I watch him." She told Nancy, she "said Well, I watch Rhett and Link all the time, and I watch Dispatches from Myrtle Beach with Charles and Link too." So that was the reason she called back because she yeah. watched the show. She did some but investigating. She said- <laughs> yeah, she um, said that every night that her and her husband and her children watch Red Link every every day. <laughs> and now that her home after dinner, and now her her boss is also listening, and she's gonna get fired. <laughs> I hope not. For doing this, <laughs> no, nah, for doing this invest <laughs> extracurricular investigation. <laughs> No, that's, that's great. That's great. I hope, did we did we did we get things squared away with the? Uh, she she was more helpful. You said because. Oh yeah, she was she was really great. I think she'd have done it even though she didn't even know who we were. You know she was. But it didn't very hurt. Kind did it? and her customer service was excellent. Okay. So that would that's a plus for her job. What's her first name? Mm. Tara. All right, we're gonna give Kara a holler out there. Tara. 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 Tara too. Tara. We'll give them both a holler. Tara. Out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the second person that you've had customer service recognize you over customer service. That's correct. That isn't that, isn't that great? It's it's not happened to me directly. I mean, one time I got pulled over by a cop, and then. I don't remember what I did wrong because you know I've I, I've gotten pulled over quite a lot, but not 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 since I came out here. It was when I was out here, and the guy was like, "Listen, I know, I know who you are. I'm a fan. I'm just going to let you go." This was years ago. I remember this like at the beginning of GMM. I was telling the story, but yeah, that was like the most tangible perk I've had. <laughs> we'll take what we can get. Yep, I, yeah, that's exactly correct. What do you think is the biggest perk that you've gotten from being uh, the host of a of the weirdest podcast on the internet, Dad? Uh, have you have you ever gotten moved to the front of a line, um, or a better table at a restaurant? No, it ain't got that good yet. Yeah, we'll, but, we'll get you um, there. We'll get you there. It'll get to that. Yeah, it's getting to that. Yeah, but uh, but I mean. When, you know, when I go places and people recognize me, they say, 
Well, we're gonna look after you. They do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it it it, ha- it's ha- it did happen at Outback when the waitress that was waiting on us recognized who who we were and boy, she she looked after us and took care of. You got us, a blooming onion for free, maybe? Well, no, no we, we didn't, didn't get, get nothing for. I didn't want her to get fired. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, you're leaving a wake of she, people who get fired for helping you out. I <laughs> don't want to do that. Yeah, we don't want to do that. I when I went snowboarding recently, um, Lando had to leave his boots in there when he rented ski boots, and the guy was a fan. And um, instead of having to rent a locker, he kept Lando's boots behind the counter. So, oh, I ain't gonna turn down a good boot perk. Oh no, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about this booth. You this is this is like a promo for your your uh, your merch, Nancy. Yes, um, I don't know what my booth um, number is yet or exactly where I'll be, but um, it'll be on Saturday, March the 16th. Okay. And there's a parade at that morning at 9 o'clock. And morning that parade. Is a wonderful parade. Okay, that's, thing, that's mighty early for a parade. Okay, go ahead. The, <laughs> I guess the Macy's Day Parade is early. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And then after, then... Then we can start selling our whatever we're um, our profession is. Okay, your and your profession is making uh, jewelry, sometimes featuring yes. animals, including. Do you have anything <laughs> you want to show? Any some jaguars? I remember last year you had a jaguar. Yeah, what? not this year. That that's some of my jewelry. Oh, you went with a black and white theme. Well, that's just one of the. Wait a many minute, things. let me get my fingers out the there for you. The things that I've made. Okay. And and everything that's, that's on in my booth is 90, well, 99% of it's uh, made by me. And then I do a lot of um, okay. shells. This is a, a shell necklace with pearls in between it. I like that. And, and then this one here. Now, did you collect those shells? Red coral. No, I bought them. Okay, all and right. And this is red coral. Okay. It's it's kind of popular. Did you skin dive for that coral? No, I didn't. <laughs> so th- I, I'm fine. I'm quickly more. finding out where the one percent is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, you know, I just want to know where the one percent was. <laughs> <laughs> That's something she bought and she didn't. She's and she redone. didn't make. <laughs> I didn't make it. I re like I might have bought it and redo it. I, sometimes I go buy beads or jewelry in the stores at a discount and i tear them down and start all over make them my way okay yeah better and then this is coral oh and this has a, an octopus on it oh octopus now did you make that octopus no oh. I didn't know that. <laughs> that's the one percent that's, that's the one percent but you but you you place the one percent you place the octopus <laughs> On the necklace, and you made yes. and you made the necklace match it, and yes, I did. Okay, yes, all right, I did. all right, all right. <laughs> how, how much does that octopus necklace go for? What's your What's your price? This one right here will be about forty bucks. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I mean, because you're 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 putting each one on there individually. That, yes. yes, right, right. And and this one too. This one here is forty five. The red coral. Because every one of those are put on by hand. And if they mention uh, dispatches from Myrtle Beach, maybe they get a, a photo. They will get a discount. A discount? Yes. Well, like one, what? Let me guess. One percent? <laughs> <laughs> no, they get more than that. <laughs> All right, I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going. No, we're gonna. No, I like your idea. I don't know if we're gonna give a discount. We're going. They're gonna get to take a picture with us. Right. Yeah, they can have a choice, one or the other. I'm sure they'll choose the yeah. the photo. And this and this is some more coral with um, turquoise, a different type of turquoise. <sighs> I wish I could get away with wearing this stuff. You ever made anything that Dad could wear? No. Mm-hmm. Well, Jason okay. Momoa can do it. You know. And then this is a different kind of coral. Okay. I've got a lot of coral this year. It's the and year then, of coral. You've heard it here, folks. Uh, that is cor- that is correct. And here is some um, other type of pearls. Oh, okay. 
But they get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. And I'm not. Other colors. It's not. It's not all running together or anything. I like each piece individually. But yeah, we got to. Oh. Yeah. It, and I got some more colors she's, here. She's she's, she's 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 still going, Dad. What do we tell her? And there's a different and there's a different kind oh. of shells. Oh, I'm doing I'm doing a lot of shells this year. It's the year of the coral, and you'll year of the shells. It's like it's it's ocean themed. Yep. So come on down to Nancy Neal's booth and get yourself some coral, an octopus. Yeah, come on down there and s- so we don't ha- have so much of this stuff at the house. <laughs> and you can get a picture with me and Nancy for dispatches from Myrtle Beach. There you go. There you go. Make a road trip of it. And, Link, I- I've been trying to figure out to help promote the show, and I, I was wondering maybe we could get some business cards made with dispatches from Myrtle Beach. Uh, sure, sure. Well, you know, you, something. It's... Um... Yeah. You, do you? Okay, go for it. What you're asking me to make them? No, I'm just asking you if it's all right. I mean, oh, uh, L- Logan said she might could come up with some kind of thing Slogan? to put on the cart. Yeah, and and send it to me where I could have some made or something and give them out. I love this idea. I didn't. Now it's got to be. It's got to be catchy. What's it going to say on it? Well, we got to figure that out. It's kind of, I mean, the shirt said, do you know who I am? And then it, this could be, this could say, do you know who I am? And then on the other side, it, it could say, now you do. And then boom, it's got all the information for the podcast. Dispatches from Myrtle okay. Beach, wherever podcasts are found. That could work. But then that we got to print on both sides of the card, and I don't know. I don't know what that's. I don't know how much. I don't know how many profits from uh, Nancy's business we want to funnel into this. <laughs> <laughs> then that we ain't using none of Nancy's profits. <laughs> this is this is okay. This is for me. All and right, I'll, you and dispatches from Myrtle Beach. All right, I'll fund. I'll fund this endeavor. But you. But I'll. I'll we'll, we'll work that out. We'll. We'll. Do see. you know who I am? We now you them. do. Mm-hmm. We could pass them out at the um, St. Patty's Day. Okay. There's about. Ten to twenty thousand people that come through the downtown area. I like that. I like that. How can we make it more personal? Um, get the inside scoop on everything that's happened in Myrtle Beach. Not that we ever talk about that, but by the time they listen, they'll forget that. I give you permission to use my face on it okay. if that helps. But I'm, but only if it's also got your face on it. Well, I, you know, I had another idea that maybe me and you do like you and Rhett, and we could uh, get together and make a T-shirt with my face on it and yours. Okay, yeah, we can get together. We, you, so you want a new T-shirt with both of our faces? Hey, on. I'm, I, you know, you know, you know, you want a you know business card or do you want it, a T-shirt? Yeah, you don't. If you don't ask. It, it, you, they can't tell you no or yes. So you right. know, I, I learned that a long time ago. So are, <laughs> are those my uh, options, no and yes, <laughs> now that you've asked? Well, yeah, that, that's your options. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I like the well, idea of a shirt. Maybe. I like the idea of a shirt. But we got to get on these business cards quick before. Yeah. But, yeah, you need something to hand out. Yeah. I got an idea. You can give it. Oh, well, you got an idea? Say, are you are y'all watching these crazy people on the podcast at dispatches from Nor- North uh, Myrtle Beach? <laughs> are y'all watching these crazy people? Uh-huh. <laughs> funny people, funny people. F- funny people, yeah. There we go. Funny people. Yeah. Fun- the, these mm. funny guys. Knowledgeable. <laughs> Knowledgeable. <laughs> no. Wonderful. Know, handsome. Yeah. Father and son duo. Maybe, maybe. Logan. Logan, are you writing this down? Yep. Okay. Are you recording this? Yes. Okay, good. All right. All <laughs> of those words, maybe we put all those words on it. Perfect. Knowledgeable, handsome, crazy, funny, father, son, duo. Handsome. 
handsome. Got it, got it, got it. You put handsome on there. I don't know. You can put handsome hey, on I, there twice. I, that way look, we won't we, fight over I, who's I'm handsome. Talking, hey, I'm talking about a business card. I ain't talking about a card this big. <laughs> yeah, it's going to have some fine print on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about a little th- three by two or whatever a business card is, not a six by nine. <laughs> right. <laughs> But we'll see. All right, I approve. Okay. Not that not that you needed it, but yeah, I'm 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 for this. Why do you want to learn a new language? Maybe you have an upcoming international trip, want to connect with a family member or friend, or just want to learn a new skill or take on a new hobby. In comes Rosetta Stone, the most trusted language learning program available on desktop or as an app. It truly immerses you in the language you want to learn. They've used trusted experts for 30 years with millions of users and 25 languages offered, some of which include Spanish, French, German, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Dutch, and Arabic. Rosetta Stone immerses you in many ways. There are no English translations, so you really learn to speak Listen and think in that language. It's designed for long-term retention. Plus, they have convenient desktop and app options with audio companion and the ability to download lessons offline. All for an amazing value. A lifetime membership has all 25 languages for any and all language needs in life. That's lifetime access to all 25 language courses Rosetta Stone offers for 50% off. A steal. Don't put off learning that language. There's no better time than right now to get started. For a limited time, dispatches from Myrtle Beach listeners can get Rosetta Stone's lifetime membership for 50% off. Visit rosettastone.com dispatches That's 50% off unlimited access to 25 language courses for the rest of your life. Redeem your 50% off at rosettastone.com slash dispatches today. It's time for another edition of Myrtle Beach Mailbag. This email's from Jeffrey, and it says, I have lived in Hawaii on the island of, I don't know, Oahu? Yep. That's it, yeah. Okay, Oahu, my whole life. I met someone very special to me about a year ago, and later the next year we got eloped. Got eloped. I Got eloped. <laughs> I reckon that means he got married. Yeah. I, think so. I knew I wasn't only going to be a husband for the first time in my life, but a stepfather to a seven-year-old and a two-year-old. I love children, and they both are still... Lo- learning to love me, and we plan to grow our family in the near future. But the scariest part that hasn't hit me is that I will be moving away from my home state and immediate family for the first time. For years, I've been telling myself I've been ready to leave my home in Hawaii to start my life and bigger purpose with my wife and our boys in North Carolina. Oh, I could use some life advice about my new adventure and starting off in a whole new state or anything you feel you'd like to share to someone that is taking a leap to this new chapter in life. And I would love to know some things about North Carolina that would be neat for a Hawaiian-grown man. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, a lot of people moving to North Carolina. Of course, you left. I left. But a lot of people moving there. It's a beautiful state. Now, it's beautiful in a different way than Hawaii, of course. But it it does have its beauty. He didn't say what part of the state he's in, but what thoughts do you have? Well, Jeffrey, I, I thought about this in a little bit, and I may, I, I don't, it sounded like you love the water, and I think you maybe even surf some and do stuff. You, <clears throat> you got to learn how to do stuff you did. For you, when you live in Hawaii, that you like the water anyway. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but if you move somewhere like where Lincoln and I used to live in the middle of the state, you're still not about not but about two hours from the beach. Of course, if you really like the beach and like the water, 
you could see if you could find a place that's close to the ocean and move there. And uh, it's, of course, the the water in North Carolina at the beaches, you're going you're gonna to get a surprise because it's not going to be that pretty blue water that you're looking at. It's going to be a grayish tint. But in the summertime and in the fall, it's warm and you can get in it. Mm-hmm. So uh, I do miss that. So, and some places so it, are definitely surfable, but not to oh, yeah. a Hawaiian standard. So you got to say that. Oh, yeah. No, we, we ain't got no uh, 20-foot waves. You, you, unless there's a storm coming in or something and you can get out there before a hurricane gets you, <laughs> you, you, you might right. get some bigger waves. But Of course, you know. he could go the other direction and go to the mountains in the same amount of time if he's in the middle. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's what I mean about living in North Carolina. You can be at the if you live in the center of the state, you can be in the mountains in like three to four hours, and or you can be at the ocean in two to three hours. So <clears throat> you just do a little homework and see where you want to go. And I don't, I don't know what kind of work you do and uh, what your trade is or what you do, but just just see what you. Look up and see what you'd be interested in, where you can look after those two children and your new wife and where y'all get started out on the right foot when you get to beautiful North Carolina because it it is beautiful. It's beautiful. Now, there's a couple things that come to mind for me just to orient somebody. Um, And, Dad, you can tell me what you think about this. The thicker the southern accent, the stupider the person. True or false? Well, are you, you? It sounds like you're talking about me. No, I'm not talking about anybody. Hey, is my, don't be my defensive. It's pretty thick, ain't it? Yes. <laughs> so true or false? People, no, no, no. People, people that have an accent like I do are not dumb and necessarily just, necessarily <laughs> and. You, you, <laughs> Here you go. But right, Jeffrey, you go. You're gonna have to learn. Hey, <clears throat> you're coming to a whole new dialect, and but it's still English. And you're gonna have, when you get here, a lot of people you talk to, you're gonna have to really pay attention to what they're saying because you may not understand what's coming out of your mouth. You say. What the hell did he say? Right. And it's not that we're, it, it, the funny thing is, it's not that it's said fast. It's said slow. It's, it, it's said as slowly as you've heard anybody talk about anything, yet you still may not be able to understand it, depending on who you run across. So yeah. don't, be, don't be afraid to say, hey, listen, I'm, I'm from Oahu, and I don't understand you. It even rhymes. That's right. No offense, and I don't think you're dumb. For that reason, don't think that they're dumb. You know, some of the smartest people I ever met have have uh, thick Southern accents. Wouldn't you say, Dad? You met some. Well, I th- have you no, met some I really smart people you, you, with Southern accents? You, you, you and Rhett used to have a pretty good accent till y'all moved, and uh, I think y'all, you know, are right on up on the top, of be- being really smart. Well, thank you, guys. So. Uh, I wasn't talking about Rhett, that's for sure. And I don't want to talk about myself either. Uh, the, the other thing is you got to know that barbecue is meat. It's not a verb. And it, it varies depending on where you go in the state. And you can go on a, quite an excursion to find different types of barbecue in different parts of the state of North Carolina. And that's something you can do with your, with your, with your stepchildren. So you just know that that's, that's very important to us. Also, don't forget about the wolf pack. Everybody's talking about Carolina and Duke. And then, and if you move close to the coast, Link's talking about barbecue, but you, you can get some really good seafood down there too. So you, you're not going to miss out on that either. Yeah, learn to love Bojangles. Learn to love cookout. Yeah. You'll be all right. You, you'll do good. You, I think you'll do fine. It ain't Hawaii though. Know, I'll tell you that. Well, Link, I reckon we're going to have to wrap this up. It was fun having you all here with us today, and we'll be back next week for another one. Next week. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to click 
those follow and subscribe buttons wherever you get your podcasts mm-hmm. and on YouTube. And while you're at it, rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. Got a question, comment, or story that you'd like to share with me? Email me at ratherbeshagging53 at aol.com. Y'all have a great rest of the week, and we can't wait to spin your world around again next week. So, love you, Link, and I'll see you in about a week. Love you too, Dad. Sounds good.